Hello guys, welcome back to another video from the E-Innovators. In this video, we'll discuss how you can self-control a servo motor by using a Node MCU and a Blink app. This is a simple DIY which only includes two components and a very small coding. So let's get started. Just before starting, I would like to add this video is a special request from a student who discussed his project query with us on Facebook. So we hope this video might help. In this video, we need Note MCU, ESP8266 and a servo motor. Servo motor have three wires. Brown is for negative, red is for positive, orange is for giving signals. In this simple circuit, we only use three pins of Node MCU ESP8266, which are ground pin, 3 volts, and D4. Brown wire of the servo motor is connected with the ground pin. Red wire is connected to the 3 volts pin, and orange wire is connected to the D4 pin of the Node MCU. Before uploading the code, we need to see Blink app configuration, which is connected by your email ID. First of all, we need to select New Project. By clicking on Choose Device, we select Node MCU. Here we can give any name to our project, like we have given Servo Motor. And by clicking on Create, our project has been made on Blink app. At last, it will give you the token ID that will be received on your email ID. Here we receive a mail with the authentication code. We just need to copy that code so that we can use it later. Get back to our app, we click on the plus sign above. And we just need to add the vertical slider button. First, click on the slider, then on pin to configure it. Then go to the virtual and select V1. Now let's look at the code. In this code, we see four libraries above, which are blink underscore print serial, ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h, blink serial ESP8266.h and servo.h. So you need to install them first. You have to upload the authentication code which is copied from your email. You need to change the Wi-Fi or the hotspot name and its password which you use in your mobile or whatever system in use. On the tool section you need to change the board to Node MCU 1.0 bracket ESP 12E module bracket close and also need to select the port and at last we need to compile and run the code on node mcu After giving 5 volt supply to the Node MCU, we can see a light on the Node MCU device. Then just open the Blink app and go to your project and press the play button. Now by scrolling the slider, you get complete control of the servo motor.
So guys, that's it for today. If you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe our channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. I would like to add one more thing before signing out. If you guys want a special request video related to your project queries, feel free to contact us below in the comment section or on our Facebook and Twitter page. Links are available in the description below. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.